back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? Today I'm going to be reviewing a highlighter palette, the first highlighter palette that I have in my collection, which I'm so excited and another one soon to come. Um, so I know I have not been recording YouTube videoing and all that stuff, posting and stuff, and that's because I explained in my last video a little bit, which my mukbang with my best friend Brandon. Okay. And <clears throat> I was just like um, basically saying that I'm, I'm working two jobs now. I have, like, I'm just been all over the place. It was the finals weeks of school. Shut. I was just confuzzled and I have no time to. It was coming on my 10, 3 o'clock in the morning, working and stuff. Working to get my car. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the new, kind of, sort of new, just got it. Um, the Bretman, oh, it's upside down. The Bretman Rock Babe in Paradise collection, or the highlighter palette, um, in collaboration with Morphe, and this packaging is cool. I love it. My eye look was very inspired by the um, the uh, outer packaging. The palette itself got a little blue going on, as you can see. The holographic is a little blue, so I do something blue in par Paradise. And normally, what I do, I like blue and stuff. Um, I like these. I like the whole detailing of it. Um, very futuristic, mixed with Hawaiian, and it's really, really good, and I like it. Is a close-up on the packaging. Sorry, that was the that was the packaging people's fault, not mine. On the front, it just says um, it's a highlighter palette, and it comes with a fan brush. Um, and then it says that in Spanish. And on the back, you can see himself. Oh my god, so cute. And um, it explains what he made the palette for, and uh, saying the name again, Babe in Paradise. Everything is lovely. It shows all the ingredients in the website where you can get it. I'll link it down below if it's still available. Um, but let's go ahead and open her up. I did open her up and I did swatch it because I was so excited. And so just this is the palette. When you take it out, it has an M with a whole bunch of designs and green around it. And I love it. Um, and it's very slim, so it's travel friendly. When you open it, it looks like this. Ooh. Oh, and that was a girl. It comes with like a little clear silver thing. Um, I did use this shade already, these two shades. So, and I did it with a fan brush. We'll get to the fan brush in a minute. Um, it says, he wrote a little note. You have these lovely shades from fair to dark. This is like most likely my shade, but I mixed it. I mixed it with a lot of shades I used to like. I, the one time I did it, I only did it one time. I mixed it with like a whole like three shades or whatever. But today we're going to mix it, and I'm gonna show you the diversity of this palette. Um, so from here to here, top row we have Baby Girl. Baby Girl is a nice icy pink, icy pink um, highlighter. Looks like this. And it's really, really nice. Next, we have Vacation, which is a nice icy gold, um, really good for medium skin tones. And this is, this is Vacation. And this one is Mahu. And don't kill me if I'm saying these names wrong. And this is a true gold to me, very like deeper than Vacation. A little bit more subtle, but it's, it's good. That was two swatches of that. Next, we have Get Laid, and these names are really like on point and clever. And Get Laid uh, is, I feel like, a mix in between Vacation and Mahu. Mahu? Yeah, it's a little bit more icy than both of them, but it has the, it has, um, it's still gold. I don't know if you can see it. It's gold, like a gold icy yellow. Yellow. Next we have Chahu. I can't yell. I can't yell. But Chahu. Um, and this is it's like a little purple kind of look, getting like a vibe from it, kind of purple-ish. But this is how it swatches. Yeah, it's like an icy purple tone reflex in it as well. And next is Shady Beach. Shady Beach is my shade. And 
Oh my god. This is so beautiful. Oh my god. Yeah, oh my god. That is so buttery. Oh my god, look at that. Um, these feel so buttery and so creamy. Um, it's just it's just very soft feeling as well. Um, and it does come with a brush. And the brush is, I think he said animal. I think it was animal or I don't know. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. But, but a synthetic or something. And the brush looks like this. I did use it. Don't blame me. I'm so fine. Um, it's, uh, it has the Morphe X Brett Mint Collection. And it's a fan mm -hmm. brush. But who uses a fan brush anymore? But if people have that elongated face, they can nest it in. Looks like this. I did use it, but so the gold little handle tip, and I think this is wooden. I think this is wooden. It's whatever. Um, if the brush feels very soft um, to the touch, and yeah, and then so I'm so ready. I'm gonna do um, one side with the fan brush, the other side with my regular highlighter brush, and I'm gonna mix it as well. Take shady with this fan brush. Shady on my cheek. Maybe a little too dark for me, but we'll see. And I'm gonna spray it with my six plus lightly. Apply this. Ooh, it's coming. Oh my god. This is be beautiful. Okay. Okay, it's good. It's blinding. It's really blinding. The beauty lights do it justice. Look at that. That is so good. Oh my god. And it leaves like a little light. Leaves like, you can tell like I have highlighter like straight on. I don't know if it's from the light from this or I have no idea. But I really truly like it. And I'm going to mix that with Mahu. Um, just to have a little bit of lightness. That one Mahu, just as a topper, to make it even more blinding. Yeah, Mahu, Mahu, I love you Mahu. Mahu, I love it. I'm going to take a Y14, a Morphe Y14, and I'm obviously not going to use this shade. Ever. Ever. But I am going to take Chahu on this and I'm going to do the other side of my face and I'm going to spritz the brush two times like I did the other one and I'm going to apply this on this other side of my face. Oh my god. It's so like icy. Maybe a little bit too light for me. Oh yeah, it's too light for me. It's way really too light for me. So what we're gonna do is mix that with vacation and just put it on top. Okay, that's a little too light for me, but I would normally I would do like shady, mix that, make it a little bit darker so I won't have that white overcast. When I look at you straight on, but that's okay. That's okay. This small brush, and I'm going to dip into Get Laid, and I'm going to do it. Grab this brush on the tip of it, and I'm going to put this on my nose and on my cheek as well. Okay. This palette's not half bad. And then this side, the this side is a little light for me, but this side, cause I like my gold. I can do colors, but they have to be like dark or whatever, like match my skin tone. I guess that concludes the highlighter palette. I use mainly everything, actually everything, in the palette except for um, Baby Girl, because that is too light for me. And we're not playing games, and we're not gonna try it. So. Um, basically everything was worked tremendously, everything was blinding, um, I like, I like these two, I like to mix, I would love to mix these two, these two are great as you can see on this side, 
um, these two really, I kind of mixed these, the, these, I mixed these two, Vacation and Chahu on this side, um, and a little bit of Shady Bitch, um, to kind of even it out, and it looks icy, like it's icy, but it's kind of a little light, too light for me before, um, so, Get Laid is perfect on the nose, just the snatch highlight on the nose, um, Baby Girl looks good, but we're not going to try her because that is too light to, to uh -uh, uh -uh. so yeah that is the whole entire palette if you would like to get this i will link everything down below um i believe this retails for 40 something dollars i'm gonna stop lying and look it up and probably amazing so it does retail for i think it was 29 dollars it retails for 29 dollars and it comes with the brush the brush worked amazingly um, it transferred product very quickly than this side, I would say, but I'm traditionally going to use the fatter brush that I normally have, the Y14. So yeah, if that's, if you like this palette and you like this review, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments below, did you like this? Did you not like this? What's the T says? So yeah, this has been the Morphe X Fremen collaboration, um, review. And this gets a fat thumbs up. Like, this gets a major love because I'm down with any highlighter. As long as it's blinding, it's okay. We don't settle for nothing. Thank you guys so much for watching um, my review on the Bretman and Morphe X um, collaboration. Genuinely appreciate it. And for you guys watching this video, if you guys do like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys are not yet subscribed, hit that um, subscribe buttons. You can be a part of the love gang here at J Love. Thank you guys so much and I love you guys and have a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. And happy summer and happy pride month. Ah, I'm so excited. Wait for the color looks. Oh yeah. Almost forgot. Almost forgot. So look forward to the blood sugar at Jeffree Star Cosmetics blood sugar review palette and looks with it. And the new Lunar Beauty Manny MUA collaboration and uh, the Jeffree Star Summer Collection, Thirsty Collection. So stay tuned. I will have it. You guys will be loving it. So I love you guys so much and have a beautiful day. Uh -huh.